Hello uh, students, welcome to our class on uh, concept of uh, micro, meso and uh, macro meteorology. Okay, so from the beginning uh, of our uh, uh, courses, you know, uh, we tried to define meteorology. Uh, that's why please uh, subscribe to my channel Agro Meteorology Farmers and Rural Development there in the first chapter, first lecture I have given, I have described it. So what is meteorology? Meteorology is defined as the study of the science of atmosphere, the study of the science of atmosphere. So in meteorology, it's a Greek word, it's in meteorology what we study are two things. Uh, one is physics and the other one is uh, geography. So what is climatology? Climatology is defined as the science which studies the factors affecting the distribution and control of climate over the earth surface. Okay, now distribution and control of climate. Now before that uh, we should understand what is weather. Weather is defined as a state or condition of the atmosphere at a particular place, at a particular place and at a given instant of time whereas climate is defined as the generalized weather or summation of weather conditions over a given region during comparatively longer period. So these are the basis. So based on this, the uh, actually the climatology, in climatology what we do is uh, in meteorology we study the physical, physical principles uh, in relation to geography or geography in relation to physical principle or a combination now in climatology we extend the findings or we extend the broaden by adding uh, statistics for that okay in the modern sense we are adding uh, of course um, uh, calculus uh, first order differential equation second order differential equation third order differential equations and matrix also but broad wise uh, meteorology plus uh, uh, statistics we call it as the climatology. Now why uh, I would like to impress upon you all these basics is uh, while we develop a concept of uh, micro, meso and macro meteorology uh, and uh, how we the agrometeorologists uh, should study to what level we should study what are our boundaries let us fix it so unless we fix the boundary unless we define it so our uh, objectives uh, the importance of study of agricultural meteorology the scope of agricultural meteorology the uses of agricultural meteorology is not perfect so that's why so in your syllabus uh, this is added the concept of micro meso and macro meteorology so uh, again, uh, here I would like to impress upon you another thing, atmosphere, the different, by definition atmosphere is a, a color, atmosphere is defined as a colorless, waterless and tasteless physical mixture of gases enveloping the earth on all sides, so the lithosphere, solid portion, the hydrosphere, water portion, atmosphere is the gaseous portion which surrounds the earth on all sides. Now, here one uh, basic uh, uh, definition, uh, this I am taking from uh, my book. Basic principles of agricultural meteorology, which was written approximately uh, 20 years back. Okay, right. So there, let us see the definition of environment. Environment is defined as a collective form embracing a collective form embracing all the conditions in which organisms live. So environment is uh, by definition. A collective form embracing all the conditions in which organisms live. So, what are the organisms? So, starting from plants, forest, you, animals, human beings, water, everything. Okay, that's what. So, well, here the first thing is environment. Let us define. So, why we should define environment here is for the development of the concept of. Uh, uh, micro, meso, and macro meteorology. Let us we know what is the definition. What is the definition of uh, atmosphere? Then what is the definition of uh, environment? We should know so that you know the concept develops like this. Uh, so once again, for your academic interest, a collective form embracing all the conditions in which organisms live is known as environment. There are two subdivisions of the environment. Number one is the 
फिजिकल और ये बायोटिक और नॉन लिविंग एनवायरनमेंट इन द एनवायरनमेंट फिजिकल और ये बायोटिक और नॉन लिविंग एनवायरनमेंट फॉर एग्जांपल सोलर रेडिएशन टेंपरेचर ह्यूमिडिटी प्रेशर विंड वाटर ऑल दीस थिंग्स विल कम अंडर द फिजिकल और ए बायोटिक और नॉन लिविंग सेकंड थिंग इज द बायोटिक और लिविंग एनवायरनमेंट सो व्हाट आर द प्रीडेटर्स सो पैरासाइट्स सो सोइल ऑर्गेनिजम सो इंसेक्ट्स सो पेस्ट सो वाटर ऑल दीस थिंग्स कंबाइन इनटू दीस टू सो बोथ ऑफ दीस एनवायरनमेंट both of these biotic and abiotic environments sir okay uh, affect the distribution of organism for the, for example crops also okay so that's why we should know the environment and then atmosphere these two are entirely different just like uh, uh, heat and temperature like that you know so now see the environment can be divided into two the environment is subdivided into two first what is it physical and biotic it can be subdivided into okay micro environment and macro environment micro and macro there is no miso here as far as environment is concerned micro environment is the immediate surrounding of an organism if a crop is there if an organism immediate surrounding it represents to environment i am talking macro environment is which is the total of physical and biotic environment that surrounds the organism and its micro environment so all these three for the last half minute or one minute what we discuss all these three combinedly we call it as the micro environment once again for your academic interest micro environment which is the total of physical and biotic environment that surrounds the organism just uh, once again for a uh, refreshing environment by definition a collective form embracing all the conditions in which organisms live subdivisions of the environment physical biotic subdivisions the division okay the broad division of the uh, uh, environment is micro environment and macro environment okay so uh, these are the basic as far as environment is concerned now let us go to what are the different groups of climate groups of climate so again by definition climate is defined as uh, first weather weather is defined as a state or condition of the atmosphere atmosphere is a colorless odorless and tasteless physical mixture of gases so a state or condition of the atmosphere at a particular place and it is given instant of time they are given instant of time for every second it changes now see the groups of climate is concerned so let us uh, say micro meso and macro micro meso and macro climates are there so climate is a generalized weather or summation of weather condition over a given region during comparatively longer period so what is the micro climate the climate of a relatively smaller areas like this bit will come the climate of a relatively smaller areas like crop field is known as that micro climate so what is the meso climate the climate of a region or location like a valley forest etc okay this climate is intermediate between the micro and meso so uh micro and macro meso is micro and macro in between what is macro climate the climate okay global in nature for example uh, a, a, a state or a country uh, you can say that you know the larger regions so this is broadly what is environment what are the groups of climate so let us see as far as uh, agriculture meteorology is concerned uh, this is this is and this is what we discuss on all with reference to meteorology now we we'll try to understand uh, what is with reference to our we the agro meteorologist shall define our own micro climate topo climate meso climate and macro climate it is my fortunate that uh, i worked with a uh, guide to agro meteorological practices g a m p of world meteorological organization you just go to the internet and type so guide to agriculture meteorological practices is a wonderful book that was uh, that was a, a book that was made beginning you know way back say around the 35 40 years back when i am fortunate uh, i wrote uh, chapter 2 in that uh, so in that chapter 2 while defining 
I have interacted with uh, innumerable scientists. You can see the number of scientists with whom I worked there. I led the team as an expert team member of World Meteorological Organization. We all together came to one conclusion that after working for a decade and a half in that chapter, what we the agrometeorologists shall define now. New, we made it new, typical characteristic distances of a climatic scales. Typical distances of distances of characteristic scales on horizontal scale for agrometeorology we defined it it's not me i led the team innumerable scientists from across all the continents we interacted 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 finally it got approved in the highest bodies so what are those scales now for your academic interest micro scale less than 100 meters meters less than 100 meters Topo scale 100 meters to 3 kilometers, meso scale 3 kilometers to 100 kilometers, macro scale more than 100 kilometers. That is, with reference to we, we and we, the agrometeorologists shall work on. This is the horizontal scale, vertical scale already defined. What is the vertical scale? Now, uh, I, have, I have already told several times that we, the agrometrologists, should go vertically to what level? To what level? That is the, in the boundary layer, okay? Atmospheric boundary layer, I have already told. So, vertically, to what extent we should go as agrometrologists? Say, for example, take this is a tree, okay? This is another tree, for example, in a temperate climate. In a temperate climate. Okay. Uh, in a temperate climate. Now, so let us take a small crop plant in the tropical climate, maybe a jowar or anything. Now, it is a jowar crop, it is a temperate crop, it is a tropical crop. Okay. Now, we should, agrometrologists should do, uh, do all the micrometrological work first. Uh, this is what we call it as the, by, by definition, micrometrology has been defined as the science concerned with detailed examination on the micro scale basis of the physical and meteorological factors that are taking place within the ecosphere. We should work only in the ecosphere. What is that ecosphere? Just below the root zone, just above the crop therapy. So, if it is a, for, if it is a conifer, if it is a tree, above, just above the tree, just below the root zone. This, this is a small crop of say 0.5 meters, 50 centimeters otherwise, just above, just below. Vertically, this is defined as far as agrometrology is not concerned. So, this is what uh, I would like to impress upon you as far as uh, the concept of micro, meso, and macro meteorology. And we, the agrometrologists, uh, shall work for the farmers. That is what I would like to share with you. Thank you very much. May God bless you.